Well, the holidays are fun, and they're usually full of fun every single weekend, which means, you know, January can be a little bit of a letdown. You know, it's gray, the days can be quite cold. In fact, this Monday was dubbed the most depressing day of the year, believe it or not. So joining me now with some ways to avoid the post-holiday blues is Gail Traco, a grief mediator. All right, so Gail, um, we were just chatting during the commercial break about some, you know, I woke up in a bit of a funky mood this morning and then just a few things just kept rolling into one and I was just in a bad mood. And I, I mean, you have ways we could snap out of it. Is it. You know, your mood sets the tone for the day and at any given part of the day. So you always want to make sure that you feel your best. You know, Robin Williams and Marilyn Monroe are two Americans that are examples of people that had depressive disorder. Yes. This was clinical depression. So we all have blue moments during the day and during the year. So there's a difference between feeling blue and being diagnosed with clinical depression. There are three mistakes to avoid, especially after the holidays, you know, Thanksgiving, Christmas, or leading into Valentine's Day. It's kind of like a big roller coaster mm -hmm. emotion ride for people. The Michael Jackson mistake. The Michael Jackson mistake. What is that? Isolation. Okay. The first symptom of clinical depression is isolation. In the winter, sometimes you have to be isolated. It was colder in Jacksonville this morning. People may not have gone out to walk on the beach as early as they would. Maybe they'll go do it this afternoon. They may feel isolated not doing that morning exercise routine. All right, so the second one is the Anna Nicole Smith slip. Self-medication, drugs oh, and alcohol. Okay. Yeah, that's, and that, that's a big mistake. It's a big mistake, and it's a very vital, you know, it's a toxicology disaster. And then the Robin Williams regret, suicidal thoughts. We all know the tragic outcome of Robin Williams. Absolutely. Depressive disorder. Absolutely, yeah. And, and, you know, I mean, all three of those, I mean, it, you know, very good examples of things that, you know, that could, that could go wrong. So you also have a formula um, that is, that is, that really works for just snapping you out of your, of, of your funk mood, right? It does. It's M in the Gail's mood formula. The I'm mood here. formula. Right. M. Move. Yep. Exercise. I have a favorite yoga tape that I take with me when I'm traveling. Pop it in my computer. Mm -hmm. I can do it in my hotel room. I also travel with an exercise band. You got your band, yeah. I've got my band. It matches your jacket. Thank you. One of my <laughs> favorite things to do, though, is walking. Yes. Walking outside. Oh, observe. Observe your behavior. Know when you wake up feeling mm -hmm. a little bit blue or during the day if somebody irritates you. Know when your mood changes. Oh, outdoors. Spring is coming. Mm -hmm. Go outside and enjoy nature a little bit. Did you ever see Steve Irwin, the crocodile hunter, without a smile on his face? I did not. He is a man that I look to. He was always outside, yep. and he was always smiling. It always lifts my mood when I see him in his outdoor adventures. And D, one day at a time. You don't need to accomplish your entire 12-month goals in one day. Set a small goal every day. Maybe it's to load the dishwasher. Maybe it's to call a friend. Maybe it's to write a letter, send a card, read a book chapter. Go to Starbucks. Pick something once a day that you can do and accomplish. That will make you feel a personal, it's like getting your report card and getting an A on it. We all want to be A students. Right, just day by day. Okay, wait, where does the chocolate come in? The chocolate <laughs> comes in because Mossy's cracking up. we're going to listen to your heart. I was so happy when I found this. And then you can have a little chocolate every day. Chocolate makes everybody happy. <laughs> okay. It does, doesn't it? I know, that's so true. Gail, thank you so much. Really appreciate it. We also want to give you more information about grief mediation and other sessions that you can get with Gail. Um, Front Porch Therapy is, uh, is her book. You can visit her website. We have posted a link on the Morning Show page of news4jacks.com.